According to BBC News, at Shikulu Metro Station the shutters are down, a small group of police stand watching at one entrance. Is this a crime scene? I asked one of them. I can't talk to you, he replied. This is the place where graphic pictures, shared on social media, showed passengers lying lifeless on the platform below. You can't get down there now. Zhengzhou's metro network is completely closed. Above ground though, you can see the evidence and the aftermath, there's mud and silt on the edge of the road, on the other side from where I'm writing workers are fixing a part of the surface that was ripped up by the force of the water. But to my right is the clearest evidence of what happened here, a four-lane underpass vanishes after a few meters under an impromptu lake. The water stretches out, covering the road as far as I can see. It comes up almost over the railings on the walkway at the side. Harrowing accounts of the subway tragedy and of the dramatic flooding around the province are continuing to emerge, with witnesses describing scenes of fear and chaos. At the start there wasn't much water, then it was like it all started coming at once, one woman who was on the flooded subway train told the news outlet Pair Video. Within about 30 minutes it was up to my shoulders, she said. It was hard to breathe. A lot of people fainted. The woman, who wanted to remain anonymous, said she was trapped for more than four hours and cried when she was finally rescued. There was so much water on the platform, and there was water streaming out of the cracks in the subway doors, another passenger told Jupai News. I'm quite tall, but after about five minutes, the water was already at my chest, he said. Tall people helped short people and children up onto the seats. I was holding someone's child. In one post on Weibo, a woman described the panic in the carriage. Many people started to suffer breathing difficulties, she wrote. I heard a nearby passenger on her phone, giving her bank account details to her family, and thought I should do the same. Water was leaking from the cracks in the door, more and more of it, all of us who could, stood on the subway seats, another post read. Dramatic images have also been shared of rescues above ground. Emergency workers have used long ropes to pull people to safety as they were dragged along by gushing currents. I was lucky that I stayed at home, but we, still, felt like we were going to be washed away, Wang Qin told BBC OS from Zhengzhou. I've contacted all of my family and luckily they're all safe. There's a lot of damage around us. I can see the floods everywhere, lots of cars and water everywhere, she said. Rescue efforts are continuing around the province, while further downpours have been forecast for the rest of the week. We're all waiting to see if everything will be okay soon, Ms. Wang said. We're very scared.